Hi, my name is Helen Johnson and I'm a contemporary artist with a strong interest in landscape painting. Throughout 2022, I'll be making a collection of original paintings based on gardens, both in the UK and in northern France. I'm inviting you to join me every Sunday morning as I gather inspiration from these gardens and show you the processes I go through to create a large abstract painting. So here I am this week in a garden in Cumbria. This is in Gamblesby and I'm focusing on these trees to start with because I have actually made a painting previously in this garden called Spring Greens in Gamblesby, which features those trees. Um, but today I'm looking at the entire garden. This is the front section, and then we're gonna go around to the back um, because the garden this week is, uh, sorry, belongs to um, Caitlin and Matt, and they're moving from here and have asked me uh, if I'll do them a painting of their garden and what is special to them uh, for their move. So. In asking them what was special to them, they've talked to me about the view. And this is the back of the garden and the view out there over the trees and beyond. Even today, the view looks stunning, um, but ordinarily you would, on a clear day, you can see way, way, way beyond. Uh, and I think it's Blancathra in the uh, far distance that you can see on a clear day. Uh, unfortunately, today isn't a clear day, but what I'll do is I'll show you some photographs of that. So my approach to this garden will be slightly different to uh, previous attempts that I've done of paintings. If you've watched my blogs previously, you'll have heard me say that I will be using a combination of gardens to create one painting rather than um, doing one painting a week. But because this is a commission and obviously they want a painting that is of this particular garden, um, I'll be spending a little bit more time looking into the details. I'll do quite a few studies, quite a few um, other paintings and my uh, final outcome may well not be quite as abstract as it would normally be um, because uh, Caitlin and Matt would like me to reflect the memories and the things that are special to them. In terms of shape, I can't help but notice the big orange hexagon, uh, hexagon? <laughs> orange rectangle shape here. Um, and that'll definitely have to feature somewhere in there. It's part of that lovely beach hedge. And yet again, we've got the theme of orange and green, which is kind of like a winter theme, I suppose. There's still a lot of green around, um, but when the trees are dying back, they do produce that beautiful orange. Another feature of this garden, which will have to um, be in the painting somewhere. I don't know if you can see in there, in amongst the trees, there are some hens and there are, I think about six hens. There's the little hen hut and they have been a feature helping to maintain, or not, this garden um, for all the time that Caitlin and Matt have lived here. So they will definitely be a part of the painting somewhere. Coming around here, you've got an old cherry tree, which is a real shame because that cherry tree was absolutely beautiful in the um, springtime when it uh, blossoms. But unfortunately it is no more. In the recent storms that we had, uh, the cherry tree fell and is now a whole load of logs. Beautiful wood, cherry wood, but I imagine most of that will just go for um, burning unfortunately. If I had the time I'd make a lovely sculpture, but I don't. So thanks for watching and if you follow me this week on Instagram you'll be able to track the progress of this painting as I'll keep you updated on a daily basis as to the processes and procedures that I go through to make this commission. All right, hope to see you then.